Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Facebook, Lots of Crafty Goodness Facebook page. It's going to be one of those days. Or you're on my YouTube channel. I have been, uh, I have gone down to just one video a week because I want to do something different rather than just make a card. I want to share a technique or a fold or something. So today I am showing a gate fold card. I'll be making one and I'll be showing a variation. So if you're ready, or even if you're not, I'll flip the phone over and we'll get started. Okay, that's my website there. This is a variation. I'm going to hold that aside. So what I am doing, I'm starting with a standard gatefold card. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it at two and one eighth and six and three eighths. So that gives you that. And then make sure you get a good crisp fold like that. Okay, so next thing I did, let me set this aside. I cut a couple of pieces. These are my blue layers. They are two and a half by four. And on one of them, my top layers are two and a quarter by three and a quarter. On one of them, I stamped this cool tractor. This is my husband's Father's Day card. So I am using the Life is Beautiful stamp set. It is SS-0603. I'm using that. I'll get that out of my way. Try not to do anything. And I colored it using uh, my Pan Pastels. I don't know if you can see on the tractor. Hi, Denise. It's got a little bit of a shimmer. So what I used, I'll come to here, the, the blue outline, I used Confectionary Days. Um, I used the Pool Play. And I have these little makeup brushes. They work wonderfully. So I did that for the outside. And then on the, the tractor itself, I used, this one's called Pewter. I don't see this one here, can you see, called Pewter. I was going to use River Stone, but Pewter had a little shimmer to it. It's almost like a, a silver. So I thought that was pretty good. So I used those. And so I'm going to... Uh, oh, and then the paper. The paper... Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Got to get it out of my way so I don't run over it with my chair. The blue paper is chambray shirt, and this is CS-0145. This is a relatively new color, um, very country to me. I really like it. So I use that, and then the plaid comes from Good Life Prints, PP-0055. I really like They've got some great colors. I almost hate to use that because I like the uh, the back side of this is wood grain. I really like that. So those those are my papers along with with uh, whipped cream. So I'm going to adhere these layers. And this is so easy. I was searching on Pinterest. You know, I just go to search for fancy fold or fun folds and try to find something that isn't really hard to share or very time consuming because I don't want to, you know, so many of you are good stampers as it is, so you don't need to watch a lot of my stuff in uh, like stamping and coloring the tractor, you know, that's just not necessary. And you might do something different, but I wanted to use this. So there we are. So now what I want to do, these are going to layer on here. Oops, I was going to do something different. Because I'm going to put this on here, I'm going to take, i got to remember what all I had planned, a length of whipped cream thread. And I'm just going to wrap it around here a couple of times and tie it off. See if I can do that. Get my little little scissors there and my detail pro shears. Love those. Okay, that's good enough. 
So I've got that on there, and I'm going to pop, going to pop the sentiment. I was going through some boxes of stuff, and I came across a card that I had made years and years ago, and it's like I even opened it up, tore it apart to see how I did it. And for the life of me, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Back when I was with the Angel Company, that was prior. That was from 2002 through 2011, mid mid 2011. That's the first company I was ever with, and I just loved them. Michelle was such a sweetheart. I made such good friends. Okay, I'm gonna want to move my bow a little. My I'm probably going to add a button to this. Um, see what I'm going to do. Get that on there even. Get this on here even. That looks good. Okay, now the tricky spot. I need to trim that up. So don't forget, those are the measurements if you want them. I will also have these this information on my blog tomorrow. So now, for the uh, for the fold, these are going to go here, but I'm going to have one open halfway one way and one open halfway the other way. So I'm just going to, let's see, figure out, I want that one. So I'm going to come here, and this is, oh, I'm on the wrong side for inches. Go down to my, my, uh, Big mat, and right about there. Okay. So now, so this one's going to be on this side. This one has to be on the opposite side. So I'll just. Oh, it's already hot out here today. We have. It's. We're having um, in Tucson, Mount Lemon. Our mountain is on fire. And up on top, Summerhaven has been evacuated. Okay, so that's going to go there. Hmm. I think I should move that down. Anyway, this is how it works. Isn't that cool? And then I cut another piece. And I used my my um, nesties from Spellbinders. It is retired, but this is labels twenty eight. I like the looks of that. I I really do. And this is going to go inside here, and I will put my sentiment on it. Whoops! So you got to watch that. Isn't that cool? I think Dean will like this. So then I'm going to show you my variation. Here's my variation. Figure that one out. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> so I will give you the measurements for this card on Friday. So this is when I finally used the stamp set. It had, I'd been looking at it. I bought it a year ago, over a year ago, and had not used it. And I thought, this is wonderful. Now I went in uh, and colored, I stamped my frogs, and this set is called, let's see what I do with that, Stick Around. So I thought it was cute. So I stamped it on the, the, paper, the lemongrass paper, and then I came back with my Arteza real brush pens and colored, but the eyes, the eyes I used, I have a pretty good Jelly Roll white pen, and I colored the eyes. So they just really, really pop, don't they? So isn't that just cool? So that is my card. And this, and again, I will give you the dimensions for this card on Friday when I post it on my stampandcarol.com. So anytime I share something on my Facebook page, Usually the same day, it'll come up on my stampandcarol.com with um, links and measurements and everything else. You just 
I just can't do it both because on my Facebook page here, the only button I have is a Shop Now button. It takes you to Spellbinders uh, through my affiliate link. And um, you get to go shopping. They do have a nice sale right now. Again, they have they have uh, today's, this week's sale, and it ends Sunday, is current product. Not new. Nothing that has been released within the last 90 days. But current stuff prior to that is on sale today, this week. So uh, if you need something, head over there and grab it up. I'm probably, I think I'm going to be putting a s order in Saturday or Sunday. They have some new dies that are just really, really cool. I want to get all four. It's a, a rope, rope uh, die in the shape of either square, rectangle, oval, or circle. And I'm thinking those would be great for class. So hi, Heather. Glad you made it. <laughs> So anyway, that is my class, my card today, my video. I am currently working on making 13 card kits for my class a week from Friday. I have 12 spoke for. I usually limit to 12. And since um, I have a bunch that, again, ordered uh, kits only, I have to make an extra set so that I can do it by video probably the following Tuesday. So, uh We'll see how that goes. So y'all have a wonderful day. It's really hot here today. We're going to be over 100. Uh, and uh, pray for rain. <laughs> it's, it is hot. And Mount Lemon is on fire. They've evacuated quite a few people. I think it was a couple hundred people up on Summerhaven. Back in 2003, Summerhaven got burnt to the ground. That was the last fire. So um, not good not good. So y'all have a great day. We'll catch you later. Again, um, I will switch this, save this to YouTube. If you have any issues, uh, just do a search for me on YouTube, Carol Norby. You should find me. So I got a lot, a lot of videos there. Oh my gosh. So I'll catch you back here next Wednesday. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.